The story of how Ella Fitzgerald's collection, the largest in the world, came to the Smithsonian began in the 1990s. In 1996, she passed away. A few weeks later, I get a call from the gentleman, Richard Rossman in Los Angeles, who was her attorney. He said, would you be interested in Ella Fitzgerald's things? Would we, I said. So three of us curators went out, went through her office and her home. In the living room, there was an end table with a stuck drawer gave it a good pull, all these papers popped out. At the back of the drawer, there was an envelope from the Smithsonian to Ella Fitzgerald. I thought, who wrote her from the Smithsonian? I opened the letter. It was from me. I had written her in 1990, inviting her to donate some things to the Smithsonian, but I never heard back from her. I forgot about it. She did it. She read it. She told her attorney she wanted her things to come to the Smithsonian. So you never know power of a single letter.